minutes. Hallelujah. Think about that tight situation that you had find yourself in. And now I want you to think how he brought you out. How he made a way. And I say, look at your neighbor and say, there is no one like you. Father, we celebrate you today. We worship you today. Father, we praise your name today. Oh, Rabba Shenderebeishe. Thanks for your grace. Thanks for your favor. Open this ministry. Oh, Rabba Shenderebeishe. American for Christ ministry. Ribeishe, Rebeishe. Korias Kerebeishe. Rishenderebeishe. You are the faithful God, Father. Anything that you start, you always finish it. Oh, Rabba Shenderebeishe. You are the one that starts this ministry. Oh, Rabba And by your grace today, Father. Oh, Rabba Shenderebeishe. We are together today. Reshenderebeishe. Koryaskerebeishe. To dedicate this place, Father. To dedicate this place to you, Rashandarabeishe. Koryaskerebeishe. May this place be, oh Rabash, a blessing house, oh Rabash, a house where people will receive deliverance, Reshenderebeishe. Where people will receive restoration, Ribayashenderebeishe. Koryaskerebeishe. Where souls will get saved, Father. Oh. Yes. As we are in the beginning, oh Rabash, yes. of this program, may your Holy Spirit, Father, yes. oh Rabash, come and take over, oh Rabash. May your Holy Spirit, Rabashe, come and take control of everything, oh Rabash. May anything that not glorify your name be silenced from now, oh Rabash. Any voice that is not coming from you, be silent forever. Oh, Rabba Shenderebeishe. Holy Spirit, we leave everything in your hand. Yes. Be in take over and conduct everything. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Come on, let's give God the glory. Come on, let's give him the glory. Amen. Amen. It's time to seek God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We done stepped off into the last days. Amen. 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 Pestilence. Coronavirus. Earthquakes. Yeah. How many of y'all know where Lilburn, Georgia is? An earthquake in Lilburn, Lilburn, Georgia last Monday. Amen. Earthquake in Puerto Rico. Earthquake in Miami, Florida. Pestilence. Coronavirus. It's time to seek the Lord. Yes. It's time to seek God. Amen. It's time to get to the house of God. Amen. And stay there. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Mm -hmm. And be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God, he's strong. He's mighty. Yes. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. He said it twice, didn't he? Yes. To confirm to us yes. that he's strong and mighty. mighty. He is the king of glory. Amen. The kings of the earth think they got all the power. But they're going to come subject to the king of glory. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. God bless you. 
and we thank God for the reading of his word. Amen. 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 Hallelujah.
Chantons le Seigneur. Chantons et célébrons ses louanges. Adorons avec toi le Seigneur. Nous joignons au céleste parent. Gloire à Dieu, gloire à Dieu. Que ce chant de la Great. 
and we will see again uh, the love of God will come back to the church. We will love. Love coming from the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We see the economy will go up. We see people will come back to, to Him like a prodigal son. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Because we can see today on the street how things happen. But we, as a Christian, as a ministers, we want to see that revival taking place in people's lives, in the families, everywhere. Oh, glorious Father, I bless you this evening for this ministry, America for Christ. I proclaim now I proclaim this ministry will bring the flame of the Holy Spirit on this nation. And this, uh, the Holy Spirit will put the fire and the, the power of, uh, of God on the young folks and all the states in the United States will be filled with the love of God, the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Thank you for, again, for this, uh, uh, Time the revival coming to this nation who will make this nation again great. Now he blesses all of you who's here working with American Press Ministries. He is pouring the blessing onto your life in Jesus' name. Well, the Christ ministry, we are sowing the word, the blessing, the grace, the salvation, and we will reap all the world God's things. Amen. Amen. Uh, be blessed, all of you. Amen. You are already blessed in Jesus Christ. And you will see more blessing into your life. Amen. And you will become a witness, a, a powerful witness Amen. of uh, the, the divine grace and the power of the resurrection. May the grace of God can be all of you to this evening. And the Holy Spirit can be moving into your life everywhere in Jesus' name. Amen. So you can go into the great dimension the Lord has prepared for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, you are blessed. And, you, and, 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 and you. Hallelujah. You are blessed. And I appreciate you, all of you, and I bless you, and you are a person of honor. Amen. And where you have honor, you have grace, peace, and blessing upon your business, your family, and everywhere. Uh, to the God the glory, be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Merci. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want to take Hallelujah. Let's pray the Lord. We're going to stand up and say thank you to the Lord for this blessing we receive from the Spirit of the Father. Then raise your hand and bless the Lord this evening. Raise your hand and say thank you to the Lord for this great time the Lord has given us. In Jesus' Christ's name. Lord, thank you for this time. Thank you for the time you've given us to come in front of you. I'm blessing these people today. Make them in front of you. Lord, 
I'm asking you to pour down your blessing, your grace into their life. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Let's have a seat. Let's have a seat. Let's have a seat. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I won't be long. I want to bless the name of the Lord for this time the Lord He given us. Like I told you, God gave us provision since 2015. And I have uh, ministers here. I'm going to be introducing them quickly. Because without them, we cannot do nothing. I have to, uh, we have to grateful to the Lord, grateful to people God is putting on our life and our path. Without your neighbor or your brother, you can do things by yourself. Hallelujah. But when God put right people around you, you can achieve great things. Hallelujah. And I want to say thank you for those who, when we start putting the stuff in the building, we saw so many people came with different kind of support. Hallelujah. Some came with 1,000. Some came with 2,000. Some came with uh, $50, $50, $100, $20, $25, hallelujah, glory to the Lord. People, because when something is coming from the Lord, God himself is lifting up people to support, amen? And today, when I came here, the first thing to do was to do all, you can see the signs, all this scripture you see, God gave us a great guy. He's sitting in the back. You can stand up a little bit, Ruben. Me, the one who gave us. Go the sign of the world. God is He the one who did all that. And we want to appreciate his work. Hallelujah. We want to be grateful. Amen. 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 I want to say thank you again for. The, the sound system. The sound system is coming from one man. One man sitting by the door. Hallelujah. Amen. Having the guitar in his hand. You can stand up. Stand up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless him. And he the one who brought all the material, all everything you see here, the microphone, all the techniques. He the one who brought all that. And we, and we are so grateful to you. Hallelujah. And God bless your life. And you are here in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Because you did something great for the Lord. And the Lord is reminding himself to you too. And you will see, the doctor will tell you, you are here because the hand of God is upon your life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to thank the Lord for all the ministers. Hallelujah. All the ministers who are here and we are praying here every uh, Friday, Saturday, sometime, Monday, 7.30. We are here crying to the Lord to lead this great work. Amen. And some people were asking me why you came from Africa and why you put in American Christ Ministries. Some people called me and said, you know, you are black American, black African. You came from Africa. And you coming and saying you want to save America here, hallelujah. And I told them, the vision is not coming from me, amen. God is the one who gave him the vision, amen. amen. It's not coming from men, it's not coming from angels, it's coming from the Lord himself, amen. Christ. The one who died on the cross, the one who laid down his life and he said, come to me. One day I was laying down, I saw a vision, he was back home. And the Lord came, the Lord came and he revealed himself in the room where I was. And he saw, he saw, he saw, he saw, he saw me three people. He saw me three great men of God. He saw me uh, Billy Graham. And he saw me again, uh, the one who died, uh, uh, how can his name again? Rena Bonke, hallelujah. And the third person is my spiritual father. He's a big minister back home in Europe everywhere. And the vision came and the Lord said, you know, you're going to be greater than this. Hallelujah. Amen. This was in 1996. I was so young. When I got the vision, I was so afraid. You know, the anointing of the Holy Spirit came upon me. I couldn't walk. I couldn't talk. I did my best. And I went to see my spiritual father, the one who just spoke. When he saw me, he said, you know, the Lord has visited you. I said, yes. 
he took me to his office because he don't want me to mess with the whole people. He made me sit in on the secretary desk. He said, don't leave here. Stay here close to me. And he the one who taught me the Bible. Yes. He the one who taught me all oh, this good thing today I can see in my life. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We started with radio, with TV. Amen. All these things started with me, with him. The communication, all these things. Because I went, I have my, I'm a journalist. And I have a master on the journalism. He the one who gave me the opportunity to go to the university. My spiritual father, everything's coming from him. Hallelujah. Everything. And he, he uh, I have a big recognition for him. And after he come here to the United States, he stay with us home. He say, you know what, for now, I don't want to go to the hotel. I want to, uh, to, to, to sleep where you're sleeping. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Big man of God. Humble and simple. Hallelujah. So I receive a great, great grace from him through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And I want to say to people here today, if you have someone above you, respect him. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen to him. Receive from him. It's an anointing. When your time came, hallelujah, Amen. the Lord himself knows how to lift you up. Amen. So I want to let you know, all of you, God have a big talent, Amen. sweet and gift, a call for, some, to, for you to do something in his work. Amen. Amen. Don't look at yourself down like uh, you are nothing. You are something. Hallelujah. Amen. You are great. God put his seed on you. Amen. Amen. You see, and when I got that vision, I asked the Lord how I'm going to be fulfilling that call. Because already I have uh, my spiritual father. He's uh, a big man of God. How, where this vision will come? Where am um, how to put this ministry? Amen. Amen. I was praying. I was thinking maybe I'm going to go to France. And one time, before that, you know, sometimes when you're not listening to the voice of God, you pursue, you pursue some stuff without hearing from Him. Hallelujah. Before I got the vision, I want to become a, a, what the name, a tax collector, or how you call it, a dwani, oh, I'm a person, a dwani, dwani, custom. Because, you know, back home, custom people, they have money. Before I got the call, I want to become a custom man to get the big money. Because I'm coming from poor, poor family. Hallelujah. I remember my father was taking me on the bicycle and taking me 60 kilometers, like, uh, I don't know, 30 miles, to receive for me to go to the college. I can see how he was struggling to make it. Hallelujah. And God was using him, taking me on the bicycle, taking me to the, the college. I can see all the effort. My mom, my grandmom was giving me great advice. God was using them as instruments. Amen? Now, one time, I wanted to become so bad, so badly, the custom so I can get big money for my family because I saw how we are struggling. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome. We need a film. We need a film. We need a film. Amen. Back home, for you to be because it's a socialist, it's not capitalism. The government has to provide the job, you have to apply. And you have to run first. You have to do a selection. We were 10,000 people in the study, uh, stadium. You have to run, and we have to select 2,500 people. 2,000 from the 10,000. I'm a very good runner. I went to the stadium. Because I told you about, I said I want to become a custom. I want to, to, to touch with money. But God had a normal plan for me. He wanted to become a sponsor like today. When you are not listening to the voice of God, you will be doing crazy stuff. <laughs> Wasting your time. Hallelujah. Amen. For nothing. But today, God wants to make a turn around in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, I went to the stadium. I was running 10 people. I was second. They took 2,500 people. I was in the midst of them. The 2,500 people, we have to do, go and do the, uh, I don't know, how to writing. do the writing. The writing. The writing. And I'm very good in French, math, and the French club like Very good on it. And I did good. I was so confident. I'm going to become a big custom. The day we have to proclaim the results. I was so confident I called the people to come. People came and I took the radio. You know the, 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 the old radio with the cassette, with the tape. 
Yes, Cassette. Cassette. I was so confident and I've told people to come. You will hear my name. We need 100 people, probably 2,500 who deliver the right thing. You ready? Yeah. Let's start from first. So I called all the neighbors to come. Because I was so confident about you getting back job. You ready? Yes. Yeah. From 1 to 100, I didn't hear my name. I was sitting. I called so many people to come. They were sitting. My head was down. I don't know how to lift my head. One woman came to me and he tapped my shoulder and she said, he said, you know what? But now God have a plan for you. Amen? So I can raise up my head. And I told the people, I said, I'm so sorry about this. Amen? Hallelujah. I'm saying that as a testimony to say, when you don't listen to the voice of God, Hallelujah. You don't know what God has for you. Amen. Himself has it. And He has to reveal it to you. Amen? Amen. When He revealed it to me, He said, You have to become my servant. Amen? I was away from my spiritual father for at least 18 years, working with him in ministry. He taught me everything. Everything. He was very hard, hard man. Amen? Today, I'm proud of him. So today, I want to introduce people who is working in the ministry. Hallelujah. I'm going to give them some few minutes. We are saying something. When you meet, we are one with them. I'm not involved them. We are working together. Hallelujah. What God gave me, I'm giving to them. We are together. Hallelujah. I'm going to call our minister, uh, Yolan from New York City. Amen. was a few minutes. Hi, ladies. Hi, ladies. Hallelujah. Notre Dieu est vivant. Je vais m'exprimer en français. Excusez-moi, bien aimé. I want you to excuse me. Alléluia. Je suis très contente, très I'm, ravie. I'm really happy de me retrouver au milieu de vous. To be among you. Oh, le Seigneur est merveilleux. The Lord is marvelous. Il a permis que je vienne, que je me trouve, je me retrouve au milieu de vous, pour que nous puissions fêter ensemble, puis réaliser la dédicace de ce temple, de ce siège. Alléluia. Bien aimé. Il a plu au Seigneur. It is a grace that God has given us. Amen. Amen. Si vous avez un apôtre au milieu de vous, if you have vous an apostle so among you, yes. C'est l'apôtre qui apporte, qui met le fondement de l'église. Alléluia. Uh, that make the foundation. Nous the voyons church. maintenant là nous devons repartir, repartir à l'église primitive. Comment les apôtres ont construit l'église de Dieu? We have to go to the main church. C'est ça le fondement. Alléluia. Voilà pourquoi je dis que so nous I'm avons cette grâce d'avoir un apôtre au milieu de nous pour mettre, pour poser ce fondement, le fondement qui est Christ. Alléluia. Et comme Christ est le fondement, Because il est à vous. Alléluia. Et la Bible dit, pense lui, comme il est le fondement, il est à vous. Mais que vous avez enraciné en nous, le rappel, nous puissions arriver à comprendre les dimensions de Dieu, quelle est la nature. Quelle est la longueur, quelle est la profondeur, quelle est la hauteur de notre Dieu. Alléluia. Alléluia. Mais si le fondement n'est pas bien placé, bien aimé, vous ne direz pas. Alléluia. Voilà pourquoi je suis convaincu que nous sommes dans la bonne foi. Parce que nous avons un apôtre au milieu de nous qui a posé le fondement. Alléluia. Et les autres ministères qui arrivent, nous sommes là pour bâtir. Nous allons bâtir sur quoi Sur le fondement qui est Christ. Why are we going to build upon? We're going to build upon the foundation of this Christ. Alléluia. Amen. Hey, voilà pourquoi chacun de nous va se poser la pierre. Each one of us will come and place a rock. On n'allons pas bâtir d'une manière désordonnée. Mais chacun nous a respecté. Comment on va poser la pierre Poser la pierre. On va respecter les normes. Les normes de la parole. Alléluia. Gloire à Dieu. Il est merveilleux, bien aimé. Alléluia. Nous sommes dans la joie. Une joie immense. Parce que nous sommes sauvés. Et le peuple qui nous suivra aussi sera sauvé. 
will receive Et nous allons mener. And we're oh, going to bring with us Christ of Dieu. the church ah, of God. Ah, à tel à être rempli, à tel à être supporté de Christ. Alléluia. On veut être Christ sur la terre marché. Alléluia. Le moment est arrivé, bien aimé. Alléluia. Chica, ba, 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 ba. Il est merveilleux, le Père. Il est merveilleux. Il est merveilleux. Nous le bénissons pour ce Nous le louons, nous le prions. Nous le Nous le Nous le prions. Nous le Nous Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to the Lord. Jesus, the one who delivered a man of Christ in your city. Hallelujah. Amen. A great woman of God. Amen. And he will never repent. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We want to thank the Lord today. But we tell the Father back home, we have a church here in New York City. Amen. And there's a pastor who running that ministry. Hallelujah. And I want to call him. Pastor uh, Mamadou. So what do you Hallelujah. Voilà Jésus. Amen. Amen. Glory to Jesus. On peut sourire un peu. On est dans la joie, n'est-ce pas? C'est une joie pour nous. It is a joy for us. It's a reason of joy for us. C'est une grâce pour nous. It is an opportunity and a grace for us. De travailler avec le Saint Esprit. To work with the Holy Spirit. Pour le salut des âmes. For salvation of soul. Vous savez, Dieu pouvait prendre des anges et faire son travail. You know, God could choose some angel to do his Ils allaient le faire parfaitement. And they would have, they would have been done, give, uh, doing it perfectly. Il a préféré te choisir, mais choisir. But he chose you and I. Des êtres faibles. Our weak people. Des êtres faibles. We human beings. Rejetés par la société. Rejected by society. Abandonnés par des gens. Forsaken by people. C'est peu. Is Dans them. Dans la parole, il dit. That many of them say. Les gens qui sont qui n'ont pas de sagesse en eux-mêmes, qui n'ont pas de force en eux-mêmes, mais qui comptent sur la parole et le Saint-Esprit pour faire l'impossible sur la terre. Nous rendons grâce à Dieu We are God pour euh, ce ministère for this ministry qui a commencé that a tout petit. A little. Tu as grandi And it's going to grow. à l'image de Christ, to the guys, to the Christ image. qui est la pierre Who is the rock? Petit, little. Qui a quelque part. That lives somewhere. Qui est en train d'avancer. And going forward. Qui est en train de grandir. And that growing. De grossir. And expanding. D'être immense. And becoming big. De dépasser les montagnes. And to move mountains. Et de s'imposer. And to place itself. Aux États-Unis. In the United States. Nous allons nous We're going to place ourselves. Avec la parole du Saint Esprit. With words of the Holy Spirit. La parole et le Saint-Esprit va we'll s'imposer et we'll fera des choses we'll go to do que jamais personne n'a fait that no one pour la gloire du Seigneur. C'est pourquoi nous rendons grâce à Dieu pour l'apôtre Bernard, Bernard, pour tous les frères et sœurs qui sont là, here, ceux qui sont déjà là, here, ceux qui vont venir, and those who gonna ceux qui vont même naître dans le royaume. And those who gonna even Parce que Dieu a des choix pour chacun de nous. Has a choice for each one of us. Ce qui est important, What is important de nous fonder sur la parole. The most important thing is for us to dwell in the word of God. La parole. Lorsque l'on est établi dans la parole. When we are establishing God's word. L'ennemi. The enemy. Va oser. Will try. Vous savez, Satan n'apprend jamais ses leçons. You know that Satan doesn't ever learn his lessons. Ce que tu l'as dit hier, il a oublié ça. Whatever you told him yesterday, you have forgotten. Il faut le dire encore aujourd'hui. You have to remind him. Demain encore, faut le dire. And tomorrow, you have to remind him. On appelle ça la persévérance. That call is called perseverance. Lorsqu'on est établi sur la parole. When we are, uh, we know the word. La persévérance de Christ. The perseverance of Christ. Est en nous. It is in us. Va se manifester. And it's going to show itself. Loin des épreuves. Will they going to be obstacles? Des gens vont vous abandonner. People are going to leave you. C'est normal. It is normal. Jésus a été trahi. Jesus was betrayed. Vous serez trahi. You will be betrayed as well. Vous serez préparé à ça. You have to be ready for it. On ne va pas tout le temps vous acclamer. No, we're not going to be praised every time. Ce soir, il y a tellement d'acclamations. C'est bien. Today, everybody is praised. Mais ce n'est pas tout le temps ça. But it's not going to be an everyday thing. Il y a des moments où on va te rejeter. There will be times people are going to reject you. Il y a des moments où on va te parler mal. There will be times people are going to say bad things. Il faut accepter ça pour Christ. So you have to accept it. Il faut l'accepter avec joie. You have to accept it with happiness. Le ministère est difficile. Ministry is hard, Mais est possible. but it's possible. Je dis vous Hallelujah, amen. We love God. And when I was putting the church in your city, you were with me. 
Amen. Hallelujah. She met himself. Today we have a ministry. Amen. Thank you. Come. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I give all the glory to Jesus Christ. Amen. Can we clap our hands? song first and we declare your majesty we declare your majesty we proclaim that your name is exalted for you reign magnificently rule victorious your power is shown throughout the earth and we exclaim our God is my Christ. Yes. Today I serve the Lord and uh, we have a church in New York, Amen. one branch in Canada and in Burkina Faso, but he all uh, 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 began in his church because when I came and I got the call, I, he, he is the first one that allowed me to serve in his church and I was greatly, greatly blessed and one thing that I really thank the Lord for his life and I was, and it's very challenging for us was his perseverance. He's somebody who's completely characterized with perseverance, never gives up. And that touches me a lot. And I came here with three of uh, my spiritual sons to honor God for his life. Because God says, give honor to whom honor is due. So we came to honor God for what the Lord is really doing in his life, through his life. We thank God for his wife and thank God for all the congregation. Thank you for what you have done. And I met my wife in his church. So what a great blessing. Hallelujah. So I give all the glory to Jesus Christ. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. We're gonna go quickly. I wanna follow a little guy. He was in your city with me. And he went to Seattle. And he said, I'm gonna go cross the way in Seattle. Come on. Finish. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to the Lord. Et pour gagner du temps, to not take long, euh, je ne veux pas revenir sur l'histoire de America for Christ. I'm not going to start with how the America for Christ was built, was mais, started. Mais à titre de mémoire, but just for memory, euh, je pense que lorsque l'Éternel a parlé à l'homme de Dieu, I believe when the Lord spoke to the man of God, cinq minutes après, five minutes later, c'est moi qui l'a I called him. Et je pense que je suis le premier pasteur, I believe I was the first pastor, consacré comme pasteur de America for Christ. Concentrated as a pastor of America for Christ. Je suis le pionnier. I am the one of the oldest pastors. À ouvrir une église de America for Christ. To start an American for Christ church. À New York. In New York. Alléluia. Amen. Lorsque l'homme de Dieu m'a appelé, dit que l'Éternel a dit de prier pour l'Amérique. When the man of God uh, called me and said that the Lord asked me to pray for America. J'ai crié Alléluia. I scream Alléluia. Faut venir dit comment faire ça. You need to come quickly so we can do it. Mais quand j'ai rapproché, when I hang up, j'ai dit c'est lui qui cherche ma mort. I said this one is seeking for my death. Moi je suis venu aux États-Unis. I came to United States. Pour chercher l'argent. To seek for money. Aller soutenir ma famille. To go and sustain my family. Et quelqu'un me dit qu'on doit prier pour l'Amérique. And somebody is coming and telling me we have to pray Moi, for America. Pour prier pour l'Amérique. Where, what, what is it for me to pray in for? J'ai commencé à l'éviter. I start avoiding him. Je le cherche plus. I wasn't looking for him. Quand il est arrivé, when he arrived in America, il m'a cherché par force. He seek for me. Et il m'a trouvé. And found me. Il m'a dit. And told me. L'Éternel m'a dit. The Lord told on me. On doit mettre un ministère en place. That we have to put a ministry in place. J'ai dit le nom c'est quoi? 
And I said, why would be the day? America for Christ. And he said, America for Christ. I said, it's good. Mais on va moi. But we have to think <laughs> and see. Amen. Ce jour -là, on that day, dit, the Lord told me, ta Bible. take your Bible. Je vais te montrer quelque chose. I'm going to show you something. Pris ma Bible. I opened my Bible. Il dit, que tu te rappelles la lettre que j'ai fait écrite par le prophète Jérémie? And he said, do you remember the letter that I had prophet Jeremiah to write? Il dit, je ne connais pas. I said, I don't know. Il faut aller là-bas. And he said, you have to open it. Jeremiah 29. We're going to get You're going to read later. But a part of the, the passage. When I start reading it. A part of it. Precisely in the He said, pray for the nation where I will bring you to Because your happiness depends on your, that nation. You're going to read later. I understood that that is the Lord that spoke to him. And I told him we're going to pray for America because my happiness depends on your happiness depends on the happiness of those who are left depends on it. And he said, remember the word has left America to come to you. The word left America to come to you. Mais but today, la fait plus de fait en Afrique ici. But the word is working more in Africa than here. Le moment pour toi it's time for you de faire chose pour ça. to do something about it. Le moment pour toi it's time for you de la croix. To, to turn the cross. Le moment pour toi it's time for you de la parole où quitté. to bring the word back where it came from. Sinon, un jour viendra. Because one day will come, tu vas you will disappear. C'est pour ça que je te dis toi qui es là ce soir. Reason why I'm telling you who are here. Jérémie t'a dit. Jeremiah said. Rappelle-toi. Remember. Prie pour la nation dans laquelle. Pray for the nation. Je t'amène comme captif. Where I'm gonna bring you. Nous sommes tous des captifs ici. All of us are foreigners. Nous sommes tous des captifs aux États-Unis. All of us are foreigners. Même les Américains sont des captifs aujourd'hui. Even Americans are foreigners in this. Priez pour l'Amérique. Let us pray for America. C'est prier pour l'Afrique. It's praying for Africa. Priez pour l'Amérique. To pray for America. C'est prier pour le monde entier. It's to pray for the whole world. Que la paix de Dieu soit avec vous. May the peace of God be with you. Tout ce que vous faites ici aujourd'hui. Let everything that you're going to be doing today. Votre bonheur dépend de ça. Your happiness depend on it. S'il y a un malade ce soir ici. If someone is sick here. Sa guérison dépend de ça. The his or uh, his or her healing. Si quelqu'un a un problème de famille aujourd'hui. If somebody had problem with their family. La solution dépend de ça. The solution depend of it. Si tu es là, tu tu, tu, tu penses que c'est pas un fait de hasard Non, ta solution dépend de ça. If you think you are here by coincidence, no, then, your presence depends. Continue à soutenir. Let us continue to Parce que ton bonheur dépend de ça. The America because our happiness is here. Alléluia, yeah. mes bains. Before I go to our ministers, I have uh, someone in the middle of us today. One day I find myself, you know, since I born to today, I never went to the hospital, never. The Lord is my healer, hallelujah, health, divine health, never in the hospital. And sometimes I'm bragging about it with his bed, saying, um, one day I was home, my breathing became heavy, I couldn't breathe, and it seemed like uh, I was asking myself, your man died. Amen. I heard uh, the news, someone was saying he was sick and he said he doesn't want to die. What he's doing is he doesn't want to close his two eyes. <laughs> when he's sleeping, he's opening the other eye to make sure he's not going to die because he's scared to die. And for me to go to hospital and check up myself is a weakness. But people told me no. God created well the, the medicine. Amen. And that day I couldn't breathe enough. I have a doctor here, a big doctor in the here. She will want God use use her to heal me. Amen. And I want to call her doctor. Come. Say something. <laughs> being here um, this afternoon. Thank you. Grand opening. Um, I know God is going to bless you all immensely. 
um, he does believe in God and lean on God to heal him. And as you all know, God gives us all a ministry. And so my ministry is for him to use me to help heal. Because sometimes God can just take it away just by thinking it. And sometimes he uses our ailments and how we deal with our ailments to bring people to him. Sometimes we're chosen, even though we don't want that choice to endure whatever illness we have. And so for me, you know, I'm not going to do my plug, but I have developed a plan that God gave me seven years ago. And I was like Jonah, just running away like, you don't want me to do that. And I'm back to where he called me to be. God wants me to help our community get better. No, it's not a free program. One day I have a free clinic. It's just not today. <laughs> but I do have a plan, and I'm down the street. If you guys want more information, Pastor Bernard definitely can um, provide it for you. But it is a practice where it is supposed to help with affordability. I believe in the integration of maintenance and preventive care. And so I, too, am still training on herbal medicine. I don't know. I'm not an expert at it yet. God is working on me with that. But I do have a membership program for people who are uninsured and underinsured because they have a lot of programs out here. But when your deductible is $3,000, $5,000, you're still paying for your office business. So I have a plan. I'm not Elizabeth Warren, but I have a plan. <laughs> Um, for for you so that it can be um, much more beneficial and for people who are trying to get their I-693 forms I have a discount heavy heavy discount for you to get that done so I will leave flyers here I'm going to stay and continue to enjoy the worship that you all are having because I'm just I feel like I'm home so thank you for inviting me appreciate it. And my name is Tiffany while we're here, but I'm Dr. Lee in the office, and my um, business is Strawberry Show. So thank you so much for being here. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to go faster. Thank you for your testimony. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. I want to say thanks for two people who God connect me to them so I can be a blessing for them. Today, when I met them, there, not, there, there was not a, there was no way to do electrical work. But God used me as master, hallelujah, yeah. to train them. Amen? Amen. Jordan, you can come. Ismael. Hallelujah. Amen. You gotta be saying something. Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Amen. All right, all right. Amen. So, um, these are some tough acts to go behind. <laughs> but um, what hasn't been said about uh, Apostle Bernard? I have a long, drawn-out story of how we met, but I will make it brief. God put me in a position to meet a man of God to help me affect change in my life and to help me support my family. Um, I didn't know him at all. This is a random encounter. And like he said, uh, his knowledge of electrical work and uh, my need of change in my life. It was, just, it was just divine intervention, some would call it. And um, ever since that day, I mean, my life has just grown on so many levels. You know, um, I'm very appreciative and happy that he opened his heart up to a stranger like me to help give me an opportunity to help others get opportunities as well. You know, this is about helping each other out. And all that being said, if it wasn't for God, you know, it had to be God to do it. So I'm a firm believer. 
Reverend Ishmael. That was my brief statement. Merci le Seigneur de nous avoir permis de nous. Je remercie le Seigneur de nous avoir permis de ne pas avoir pu transiter. I'm thanking the Lord. De nous avoir permis de se rassembler ce soir. For allowing us to gather in this place tonight, this evening. C'est une occasion aussi pour moi de remercier personnellement le pasteur. And it's an opportunity for me to personally thank Pastor Bernard. Pour ce qu'il a d'ailleurs fait pour moi. For what he has done for me. Bon, mon pas trop long, My story is not too long, mais elle est complexe. but it's complicated. Okay. Je suis venu ici par, vraiment par le bon cœur de ma soeur que je suis venu dans ce pays. I came in this uh, country with the help of my sister. Elle m'a aidé à venir à améliorer ma, ma vie. She uh, helped me to come in this country to change my life. Pendant tout ce temps, bon, je suis un peu. <rire> je remercie encore le Seigneur pour m'avoir donné une soeur pareille. Et par, par elle, je connais le pasteur Bernard. And my sister, I met pastor Bernard. Ça fait exactement. Deux mois que je suis en train de communication avec le pasteur Bernard. It's been two months that I've been communicating uh, with Pastor Bernard. Je suis à New Jersey. I was in New Jersey. Et bon, je n'avais pas de travail d'abord. I was unemployed. Voilà. Et il m'a fait venir ici. Pastor Bernard had me come juste, in Atlanta. Juste il y a de cela un mois. It's been a month. Il m'a trouvé du travail. And found a job for me. And give me a shelter, a place to stay. And today I can say I'm blessing the Lord. Uh, for him to help my sister for what she has done for me. Des choses qui sont passées, beaucoup de choses qui sont passées. There's many things that had happened. Ça me touche, ça me touche profondément. And I'm really touched by it. Mais je n'ai pas la solution. But I don't, I never had a solution for it. Dieu seul qui peut trouver cette solution là. And God and God Himself can find a solution. Et Dieu cette solution. And I'm still praying for God to give a solution. Je suis réellement content d'être ici. I am really happy to be here among you. There's a little young guy, uh, he's playing piano, he cannot come here. I'm training him to become a musician too, amen? Love to God, to God with glory, amen? Hallelujah. I want to say thanks to the Lord again. We're gonna be going so fast. We have uh, ministers, Pastor Philip and his wife. We have a uh, different minister here, and we can't go over all of them. We also came from a different state. We are trying to make them say something before. We, we move on to, to finish. Amen. But today, uh, this guy who is standing with uh, the camera, he have a small story too. Hallelujah. When he came here, because our ministry is to change people's lives. Amen. When he came here, I think someone can hold this. You can come quickly. Is good? Yeah, it's good, good. When he came in New York City, when I was put in the church there, he came, but he was so discouraged. You know, when you, from back home, when you hear from the United States, the money, hallelujah, <laughs> the US dollar, people are flowing and coming, yes. But, but when you get here, you can see the reality. Yes, the country is blessed, but you have to work hard, amen? When he came, he was so confused, and he wanted to go back home. And the Lord used me to comfort him. Don't go, stay. Persevere, hallelujah. Today, he was great. He told me he bought a new car yesterday. What when? <laughs> hallelujah. He got a beautiful wife. He's married. Two kids or one kid? One? Two. Two? Hallelujah. Amen? Yes. 
But all of us, by the grace of God. Amen. I want to talk about somebody else who is here, Pastor Philip. When I came here in 2001, he was here. We met. We started with trusting somebody else first who was helping that person. Hallelujah. Because you have to start somewhere. Yes. Um, amen. Amen. Pastor Philip, come and say something. Little. Just speak before we move on to finish. So I can give my microphone back to her. Glory to the Lord. We thank the Lord. As he said, we met and we served together. And because everybody had to follow the path that God has uh, traced for each one of us. And he quickly entered to the path that God has traced for him. I know that when God gives you a vision, it's going to equip you for it. That's what he did. And I'm thanking him for what he's doing. Because when I call and he's everywhere and everything is because of God's glory. I'm blessing, uh, I'm blessing his wife who is uh, sustaining him in this ministry. And I'm blessing the Lord for every ministry and every man and woman who are working along with us. Because when God is on the boat, we're going to reach the correct And the America is going to be winning back for the Lord. Pastor, may the Lord bless you. May He bless the ministry and bless each one of you. Amen. Amen. But don't forget our brother and sister in Africa that have to we have to win their soul from Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Pray God bless you. So happy to have you today here. I want to say thank you to someone. He's here with his wife, he's a missionary. You gonna come here for one minute. Pastor Kalebe, just one minute. Kalebe, so we can go quick. Hallelujah. I want to thank you so much. Uh, thank you, everybody. God bless you. Bye. <laughs> We want to bless the name of the Lord for uh, the guy who holds you uh, the tablet. Pastor Charles, supposed to be here. You guys, some know Pastor Charles. Amen. Uh, Help to set up the church for him. He was in DC. The church is growing, became bigger. Hallelujah. By the grace. Today, I think he's in Texas. He couldn't come. But he sent someone to represent him. He's the one who. With. Can we see your face? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you come here? Can you come? Can you come? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. One minute. Amen. Nous bénissons le Seigneur pour ce qu'il a fait pour nous ce soir. We are blessing the Lord for what He has done for us this evening. Ce fut un rêve. It's been a dream. Mais Dieu nous fait la grâce d'être là ce soir. Amen. But God has given us Et nous this disons merci à Dieu here. parce qu'il a permis que cette soirée puisse se faire au nom And de Jésus. And we are blessing the Lord because He made sure that this our day. Ma prière est que le Seigneur puisse bénir ce ministère au nom de Jésus. My prayer is for God to bless this ministry. Pour vous qui êtes là ce soir. For you who are here today. Notre prière est que la grâce du Seigneur se manifeste dans chacune de vos vies au nom de Jésus. Our prayer Amen. is for God's uh, grace to be manifested in your life. I have a, a sister back over there, Micheline. Come here quickly, Micheline. Come. Amen. Hallelujah. My sister is from Abricos, and she is the wife of uh, 
the powerful guy in Africa. You guys know Jim Soro, his brother, wife. Hallelujah. Say something. Praise the Lord. I wasn't prepared for it, but <laughs> I'm going to try. But I want to bless the Lord for the opportunity He gave me to be in this church during my, my stay. I came here to have my baby. And in a couple of days, we're going back home. And I want to thank the Lord for the prayers that the pastor and his wife made for us so that everything went well by the grace of God. I was protected. I was assisted. And I saw the hand of the Lord, the faithfulness of the Lord. I saw, I felt his presence here. And uh, he brought everything I need whenever I even didn't have anything but he was here even America gave me money <laughs> back when I gave birth they sent me back some money from the hospital more than thousand dollars two thousand dollars so that's not nothing so I want to encourage everybody to serve the Lord because we are in Africa we're serving the Lord I have a ministry for young girls and women, like uh, women who are bad abandoned and uh, some women who are divorced because everybody doesn't want to divorce, but it can happen. So for girls who have kids, like they are 15 years old, 18 years old, and we are helping them. So I want to encourage everybody to hang on him, to serve the Lord, because I don't deserve anything. I don't deserve anything. I am nothing in front of the Lord. But all I have is His presence who's guarantee, who is guaranteeing me life, who, who ensured me the security and everything I have, me and my family. And uh, by serving Him, I know that He will never forsake me. And for each of us here, I, I bless the Lord and I pray that everybody will know him personally, will have an encounter with the Holy Spirit and serve the Lord besides my pastor and now my daddy because I came here so he's my daddy here <laughs> and she's my mommy here. <laughs> so that's what I want to say and I'm happy for the Lord that the Lord has made. So may the Lord bless you. Hallelujah, amen. 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 Hallelujah. I have uh, three more people before I can finish it. Amen. amen. Uh, I'm going to call this young uh, guy. Come, come here, please. Come to the church. He was close, waiting for his guitar playing. And God wanted to use him. He came from Colorado, Denver, just for this event. Is a sacrifice. Let's clap your hands for the Lord for that. He took his airplane and he was here this morning. I went to the airport and get him. Say something. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Je bénis, je rends grâce à Dieu ce soir. I am blessing the Lord uh, tonight. For this opportunity that he allowed me to be here among you. This is my dear, really, uh, this is a man of I just want to say that Pastor Bernard is a man of God that I know very well. And I knew him through uh, Papa Karambiri. This is really a those are men of God that really uh, encourage me. Et je les encourage vraiment pour le ministère que Dieu les a donné. And I'm encouraging them back for this ministry that God has given them. J'ai la foi en Dieu que je crois. I have faith in God that I believe in. Que Dieu ne va jamais uh, nier sa parole. That he will not uh, turn away from his word. Que Dieu vous bénisse. May God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Since 2010, I met her situation in her life, in the family. The Lord used me to bring the solution by His grace. Amen? Since we are tied together. And my young brother, I met him, I think, two years? Two, 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 years. two 
22 years. He was in big trouble with immigration. We were able to deport him. Look, the Lord used me. And we are. So today he's here. Amen? Amen. I think he has something to say. <laughs> I'm not used to talk on microphone. <laughs> I'm also used to talking from people like, like you know, you guys. Okay, uh, my story is a long story. Like, uh, I will try to make it short. Uh, I was on uh, trouble. Uh, that was a, a difficult marriage. And uh, I was facing uh, the deportation from uh, the division. And um, I called uh, the pastor, and uh, he fly from uh, uh, Atlanta to, to New York. So he let his job, uh, his activity, everything, and he come to New York and help me fix my problem. And uh, I'm thankful. You have something to say? She is the big sister of the uh, one who just spoke here. Uh, the one who has have in the camera, Alvia. The sister of him. The man. Little sister. I just want to say thank you to everybody for being here. And I want to say thank you to Pastor and his wife. And thank you to God for all the blessings. That's all I can say. Amen. Amen. I want to speak about revision for this ministry the Lord gave us. 14. First of all, Jesus Christ is the one who sent us and to proclaim the gospel and bring salvation to human hand. We are the mouthpiece. Hallelujah. Of God, Christ. To spread the gospel to this nation. Before I get here, back home, we are hearing about the United States. Great country, powerful country. All around the world, you can see how America is having heart, goodness to people. In the school, you can see we bring you the food, bring you the milk, different stuff to help. And I was amazed. The homeless people, you can see in the black community. How because I'm a dietitian, master dietitian, I'm going to people's houses. I can see the sufferings through their eyes. And the solution is not the government, Alria. Yes, the government can do the regulation, yes. But the solution is Jesus Christ. In their life. When you have Jesus Christ, your prayer can change things. Your prayer can change the government heart. Alria. The different decisions and the law. One day I was flying in the airplane, the Lord swapped my heart and said, the same thing America brought the gospel back home is your prayer <laughs> to bring back the gospel to that nation. Hallelujah. I spoke with Mom Isabel about it, and with some Pastor uh, Kamu, and with all the people who didn't come today. Some of them was asking me, it's like, uh, this is a dream you have, how you can bring this nation to Christ. Because people, when you want to speak to, Christ, uh, about the, to, to them about Christ, we can say, we know already. But we don't leave, we don't leave the, the power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The connection. Alleluia. You can have Christ on your mouth, but the relationship is not there. That's why you can see the nation is backing away from God. Amen. I never took a bus here. When I came to the grace of God, I was upon my life. I never took a bus. She gave me her car to drive. Her husband. And very beautiful. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. Perseverance and uh, uh, persistence is 
building uh, even my faith the most. And I'm very grateful. And I thank God for everything He has done in all our lives. Amen. May He bless you, Pastor Bernard and Mama Elizabeth. May God bless you. Keep it up. Well done. But before I go to what I receive from the law, I really want to praise the law for his life. Like what uh, my brother, Pastor Macho, just said uh, recently, this is what also I feel. We was two young ladies that were supporting him, Lilian and I. And when we were seeing his efforts, every Sunday flying from Atlanta to New York, we said we cannot abandon this person. He really touched us. So we decided to, to stay with him, to be supportive to his ministry. Amen? And that's why you can see that until today I'm still connecting to him because we see his heart for the law, his perseverance for the law. He, he didn't consider what he's spending for the kingdom, what he's doing as an effort for the kingdom. He is always ready for the law. Amen. So really, uh, I praise the law for his life. I praise the law for his wife. Life, there was really a blessing for us and a great example. Always serve the law and never give up. Amen. 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 So to go very quick, uh, the Lord talked to me about us being here today. Amen. About healing for people that is here. Amen. And also about how sometimes we we miss our blessing or we don't see what the promise of the Lord in our life. Amen. So going very quick and I don't know if we're gonna have maybe five minutes for the man of God that is here and woman of God to pray for those people that for those persons, Father, oh you know them all in the shame.
over this vision and with our seed, this is only the seed. We will soak it in the blood of Jesus. We will soak this in the blood of Jesus and we speak life to this seed. That this will grow. That this will grow. That this will terminate and be used for your kingdom. For your kingdom. For your kingdom. And we speak and that soul will be saved. Soul, nation will receive your word. Soul over the world. Father God, the harvest is not here, but we need Father the workers. Send workers from the south, from the north, from the east, from the west, into this ministry in the name of Jesus. Father, let me lift up my hand now. Oh, see, not in my name, but in name that is above our name. And Father God, you see your children is part of their situation. Into your kingdom, and your kingdom is the fetter line. And I pray that may the Holy Ghost overshadow the life in the blood in the name of Jesus. Let your power be revealed to them. Those who are expecting from you, for that visit them in the name of Jesus. For that visit them. Those who want promotion, promote them. Those who want healing, for that heal them in the name of Jesus. For that those who are children. Give them children, those who are husband, give them for the one who has promoted. Oh, Santa, shake Baba, Rote. Let your fire burn. Let your fire burn. Let your fire burn in the heart of your people. Those who want to serve them, serve you. Let your fire burn and manifest yourself powerfully. So at the end of the day, the Lord people will say, truly, we have met the Lord, our maker. Be glorified, be magnified. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray thanksgiving. And let God say amen three times. Amen. Amen. Si cette nouvelle est donnée, c'est l'ancien que tu demandes. Donc comment toi tu es en train de demander? Que ton feu, Seigneur. Que ton feu. Ah, le diable doit savoir que tu veux que le feu là commence à brûler. Que ton feu, Seigneur. Imagine this ministry where you want it to be. We hear the story of this ministry. I want you to look at this ministry and begin to call people from the north, south, east, and west of the city and begin to call them and attract them to this place. As they walk through the streets, may they be touched by the power of Holy Ghost. As they begin to listen to gospel music, may God begin to direct their feet to this house. You can do it this night. Hallelujah. So I want you to raise your two hands and begin to speak out. Open your mouth and begin to speak. Speak, speak. What you want for this church, for this ministry to come. Makula Zataya. Leka prakuti basunte leke basunte here. Lakute ke braka basunte ke basuka. I feel the spirit of God begin to speak into the existence of this ministry. Begin to call people from the north. I want you to call white people. I want you to call black people. Asia people from many colors. Begin to speak. Makute basuka leka braya. Leke boka basuka. Lakota manu ke basuka le. Begin to speak what you have said. Let your ear hear the things you have said. You must hear, you must confess. We hear the story of this church. We hear the word God has spoken. 
God has anointed you to do it through the man of God. Begin to speak. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Listen to me. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. If your mouth is closed, your destiny is closed. Until you speak, nothing will happen. Hallelujah. And the Bible says we are the mouthpiece of God. As a matter of fact, in the Old Testament, when God speaks to his people, God speaks to the prophets. The prophets represent God before the people. And the priests represent the people before God. But in the New Testament, we have been given the mandate not only to be only priests, we are also prophets. It means that we can be the mouthpiece of God. And we can also take the request of people to God. So what you are going to say this night will bring a dramatic change to this church. Hallelujah. I want you to raise your right hand and say, Father, open the gate of this church. In the name of Jesus, come on, let somebody begin to pray right now. Begin to pray, begin to pray. The gate of this church be open. Come on, let's start to let them have the gate of this church. Are you kidding me? 
In the Old Testament, the priest was only getting the money, the tithe, and eating it. The temple was not in the rented property. In the Old Testament, they didn't have electricity. They didn't have gas bill. There was no insurance. And yet, the priests were still getting the tithe. Now today, you think this place is for free? No. No. Our God is doing more today Amen. than what He has done in the Old Testament. Amen. The giving of the tenth is to guarantee the safety of the ninety percent. Amen. Am I making myself clear? Yes. So God will bring good people that will say, Pastor, every month, as a matter of fact, I'm feeling the Spirit. How many people want to support this ministry with something? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> a little bit now. Anybody here want to own a business? You want to have your own business. You don't want to work for anybody. Raise your hand. I'm feeling the spirit. Step forward, step forward. If you are here, you want to own your own business. That is what I am telling you. How many people are in school here? Raise your hand. You are in school. Good. Don't graduate to become an employee. Graduate to become an employer. Amen. Amen. All of you that are in front, I, I was expecting everybody to rush forward. Own your own business. Begin to. Uh, they don't understand. Some people already have their own business. How many people have their own business? If you have your own business, come forward. Surrender these people for me. Come. If you have your own business, come, come. If you have your own business. Pastor, you listen what I'm doing this. I'm not taking my time. You listen what I'm doing this. If any of your member is making one million a month, you will not work. Amen. 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 True? Amen. If Talaperi is my member, <laughs> I'll come with the helicopter and drop here. <laughs> right? Now, all of you that are in the front, you are here. The Bible says this past not the small day of beginning. Amen. I want you to think in your own life and take a seed, money, something. I'm not going to ask you, I'm not a prophet that preach money. I'm not going to say bring 100, 200, uh, 50, uh, 30, five, five dollars. Uh, no, 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 no. This is game. Whatever you can afford, I want you to take a seed. Take it and tell I'm provoking the blessing of God. Bring it to the house of God. This is prophetic. I can move in prophetic. I don't want to move because of time. Take that seed and drop it at the feet of the apostle. And tell him it's for my business. And you see what God will do for you. Amen. 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 Hold somebody's hand right now. Yes, Lord. And you are going to pray one more prayer. Yes. I believe in prayer. I'm a prayerful man. I pray and I believe in prayer. That is the greatest gift you can give to this church. Yes, you want to prophesy that next year at this time, this church must get out of this place Amen. and be in a bigger place. Amen. And you want to prophesy, Father, show me what I can do to support this church. Yes. Even if I'm a member of another church, I can be sending hundred dollars every month to support this church. Yes. I can be sending money. I can be sending food to the children. That is one way you can get this church to the next level. Amen. Amen. So hold that person. Listen, the Bible says one will chase a thousand, but two will chase ten thousand. When we are two, our power is multiplied by 10,000. That is why I say hold somebody's hand. Because it's going to be a corporate prayer. And as you pray that prayer, the vision and the grace that is upon America for Christ is going to come, come upon you in Jesus' name. So begin to pray right now and say, Father, help me. Help me to be a blessing for this church. Begin to pray. And also pray and say, Father, bring people to this church to the point that next year at this time, they will not be in this building. Shall we begin to pray right now in the name of Jesus? If you know how to speak in tongues, I want you to speak in tongues. The Bible says that he that speaks in tongues does not speak unto man. He speaks unto God. And it is in the spirit that he reveals mystery. I want you to begin to reveal mystery right now. Hey, I stand as a prophet over this house. I declare and I decree. Next year at this time, 
that shall move. Next year addition, that shall move. That shall move to the next level, to the next dimension. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, everybody in this building that have a gift, that have a calling, that have the resources that will support this church, may they begin to bring the resources. In the name of Jesus. Makotora, Legebo Zikefe, Likebo Sokoto, Lekabu Sakapalabama, in the Muse Telekebebe, in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Before I go, just raise your wallet. Let me bless you. Raise your wallet. Your wallet where you normally put your money. Raise it. Amen. And you are going to see. The greatest mistake the devil has done is to allow you to be here today because you are going to be embarrassed by blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is prophetic. Raise your wallet. Raise your wallet. Raise your wallet. Say, Father, Father. remember my wallet. Hallelujah. I prophesy in the name of Jesus that your wallet will never go dry. All the wallets that are in love support right now, come off. Those wallets that are in bankruptcy, come off. The Bible says in time of need, God remember our offering. May God remember your wallet in the name of Jesus. Money will come to your home. Food will not lack in your home. Oil will not lack in your home. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because of this wallet, God will remember you. Bills will be paid. Your money will not be used to pay for medicine, for medication. I declare and I decree in the name of Jesus. Father, remember your wallet. We pray in the name of the Father. Let somebody say amen. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name. Let somebody shout hallelujah. 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 God bless you. Hallelujah. We thank you for this day that you have made, Lord God. Father God, we thank you for this place, Lord God. God, that you have provided, Lord God. God, for America's for Christ ministry international, Lord God. And Father God, as we consecrate this place right now, Lord God. Oh God, that your spirit, Lord God. God will dwell in here, Lord God. Oh God, that your spirit, Lord God. God will move in here, Lord God. Oh God, to set the captive free, Lord God. Oh God, to heal the brokenhearted, Lord God. Oh God, to bring deliverance, Lord God. Oh God, to your people, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Oh God, we pray right now, Lord God. Oh God, as we come into this place, Lord God. Oh God, we ask you, Lord God. Oh God, that we will see, Lord God. God, your glory, Lord God. Your glory in this place, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor, Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, God. We thank you, Lord God. Oh God, for Apostle Bernard, Lord God. Oh God, as he hearkened, Lord God. Oh God, to your word, Lord God. God, and he went on that journey, Lord God. God left his homeland, Lord God. Oh God, and hearken to your word. And God now. But now God, you have proven yourself to him once again, God. And God now, this God is the first step to many to come, to bigger to come. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Come on, let's say glory. Hallelujah. We dedicate the place, the building. Apostle Bernard, Pastor Isaiah, Pastor, stay up here. Pastor Isabel, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor Isabel, amen. She fixing food. Amen. I'm going to hurry up, y'all. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Surely the Lord is in this place. Amen. Hallelujah. Surely he's in this place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Father God, now, we come before you once again, God, in prayer now, God, thanking you, Lord God, for 
these vessels, God, that you are using in this hour, Lord God. And God, we ask you now, Lord God, as we dedicate this place to you, God, oh God, that you will keep them, Lord God, as they dedicated their life to your work, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. God, meet their every need, Lord God, spiritually, Lord God, financially, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. God, send your anointing power, Lord God, oh God, to keep them, Lord God. God, as they go out, Lord God, oh God, as they keep the doors open, Lord God, Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, as they dedicate their life to you, God, in this place, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Hallelujah. And now we're going to dedicate the instruments. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dedicate the instruments in this house. To God. Amen. As they play, the anointing of God will be on them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Father God, now, in the name of Jesus, God, as we anoint the musicians. God, as dedication, God, as consecration to your use, God. Oh, God, as they come into your house and play music, God, that your anointing will be on them, God. That your anointing power, God, will break every yoke, God, will set the captive free, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, God, that it'll usher in your spirit, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God a praise. Hallelujah. Let's give him a praise. 